Gabriel Huddleston. He's 15 years old. He's from the city of Mesa, and he took second place in the 14 to 18 year old category. And his poem title is Scotland the Free. Please come up, Gabriel. Before I start, I'd like to introduce the poem, because you may be thinking, why Scotland? Well, the topic was freedom, and I had for a long time wanted to write a poem that would address the Christian heritage of the Celtic nations like Scotland and Ireland. There are many manly poems, but none of them really brought to bear the legacy of Christ, the Kirk, the Church of Scotland, and I wanted to write a poem about that. And there's a lot of things in that poem that could apply to America today, as well as the fact that America's heritage can be traced back to Scotland, many of the things we believe about freedom. And those things relate to what the Covenanters stood for and William Wallace and other great Scots. So with that said, I shall begin. Standing atop towering hills, green and hoary, Seeing the land where my fathers have bled, a land soaked in blood, drenched in toil, bathed in glory. Rolling green fields that I swallowed the dead. Standing here alive and true, surrounded by the ocean blue, bright sword in whitened fist and fire in their eye. A legacy of freedom, be it hard, be it gory, held fast by men who would fain do or die. Though perhaps today she has spurned patrimony, scorning the blood that lies deep in her soil, Covenanter's blood shouting loud in sweet harmony, telling of Christ and a kirk held by toil. Though she be in bondage now, though her heart be hard and low, though her eyes be weak, her men's hands soft, and feet slow. The blood of the ancients stands in terrible great testimony, a banner of freedom that no time can soil. But yet, though the chains may be forged, lying ready, red hot, to clasp on the wrists of the free, there be yet some noble men, some few proud and steady, who'll fight, stand or fall, but their children will be standing proud and holding fast to Christ and Kirk and to the last Claymore and Covenant and Scotland the Free. Beautiful and terrible and strong, bold and bloody. Scotland the Brave, the True, Scotland the Free. <laughs> 